So the other day I went to a uh, volleyball game, Trinity Western University at the Langley Event Center, just to poke my head in. And I saw a, and I saw a bunch of madness that isn't anywhere near happiness for the global human populace on a daily basis. Okay. So um, I saw a handful of people uh, running around on a court, and I saw a huge number of people sitting on their butts in the stands. No one was happy compared to me. Okay, The better thing to do is for everyone to drink God food in abundance like the Lord has been telling me, and then you have a dance because everyone feels so happy and full of love. Then women are on cloud nine because they're in love and on God food and falling in love with their men and vice versa. It's just an infinitely better idea than... 12 guys playing a ridiculous game on a hard volleyball court with way more people sitting on their butts looking and feeling completely depressed um, watching the whole thing while everyone pays for it and feels like trash. I'm here to tell you what the Lord is saying to me and what he's sick and tired of seeing on this planet. It's all non-love trash. Okay? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Spectator sports in general are a very foolish idea for your day today. It's like, <laughs> like, um, <laughs> it just, it's like, why on earth would a whole bunch of people, the women are sitting in the stands wondering if any guy's going to ask them to dance. The guys don't know what to do because they feel like trash. Everyone is vassal constricted because they're not on the dream God diet. And you've got a bunch of guys being very stressed out in a competitive modern warfare like game uh, that no one's really that joyful to watch. Wow. Wow, people. What a Friday night. Trash, completely devoid of love, completely devoid of joy, and I've had enough. And that's why I'm telling people the solution to all of this sadness. It's just like spectator sports are stupid, for lack of a better word. People paying for them is even more stupid. Um, the guys on the court are completely miserable compared to the way I feel 24-7. Like, and there hasn't been a single God-filled, God-blessed dance party in years where everyone feels like ecstasy like I do and is actually full of joy at the highest level and women are falling in love with men and vice versa. Done. I, I've said enough. I've declared exactly what God is saying to me and how ridiculously um, shallow and ungratifying this entire scene is that I live in, including many Christians. The reason that Christians do not get revelations from God is because they only believe that God is the Bible. They don't even believe in the personal voice of God. And that is the saddest thing ever. Because God wants personal relationship. And he has new secrets and new revelations to give to people for their higher joy and pleasure and all the rest of it. Unbelievable. It's unbelievable how many people are in love with... Um, religion, human social clubs, and humanism, and I'm just like, hear from God and obey. You'll be way happier. Um, he's the most personal person in the universe, and I, I think I've said enough there. I mean, um, just... People do not feel very good today compared to me and we're all tired of that being the condition. Um, it does not lead to love. It does not feel like worship and it's all rooted in foolishness, okay? Um, enough said, okay? I just... I'm here to tell uh, personal stories from my personal life, the thoughts that I had when I went into situations and I saw what people were doing that they thought was a good night out, and I'm like, this is terrible. I'm like, no, it's like, are you going to the game tonight? No, I am not. We're all going to have the dream diet and have a real live music with live musicians on God food and live dancing where people are actually in love and falling in love.
and no one is watching, but everyone is participating because everyone's jacked through the roof with love and joy and the Holy Ghost. Unbelievable.